Hi everyone, this is Natasha, and I thought I would do a quick review without actually showing you the uh, interior pages of the newest book from Tim Holtz, The Compendium, Com Compendium of Curiosities 2. I have the first one, and I just kind of did a quick comparison, um, and I purchased both directly from his blog, and the cool part is that um, he autographs it, which is really nice, and I think I got this one in 2010. So that's the reason why I went back to his blog to purchase the second one. But um, now it's just says stay curious rather than your actual name. But it's still nice that it's autographed. And then there's this adorable picture of uh, Tim with his biography on the back, kind of uh, how he got into this medium. So what I'm going to show you is just a quick comparison. And I'll show you the uh, first page and kind of the breakdown. So I went through, it's set up exactly the same way the first one is, and I'll show you that quickly uh, at the end. Um, so I'm just going to show you the table of contents, because I don't want to, because of copyright information, I don't want to show you the actual pages. But maybe this will help you decide whether you want to pick this up or not. So um, there's uh, tools, a couple of pages, and then ideas. Now the ideas are just really like advertising. It just go the basic information about the various products that are now available from either his ideology line or uh, you know, Ranger. So that's what that is and that consists of 30 pages. So the first 30 pages is really an overview showing a visual overview of his products. Then there's a section on techniques. So from page 31 to 66 are techniques. There's one on each page. Some of the techniques are similar to the first book, but not identical, um, and they're um, dissimilar, or they differ by the fact of which products are being used. So like a stamping technique, it might have been using you know, um, acrylic paint before, now it's using distress uh, stains, those kind of differences. And then there's a gallery, and the gallery I think is the last 10 pages, and that's exactly how it's set up in the previous book. So all of these are um, information about the new products. Then all of these pages are the techniques. And then there's a 10 page of um, ideas. So they're pretty photographs. Um, another major difference is you could see, you know, newer technology that's available now. So let me just give you a quick look at this one. It's set up exactly the same way. Table of content. I mean, I think he's even using the exact same graphics, but a different color wash. A different, um, see, it's exactly the same patterns and everything, which is nice. I mean, you know, they look nice together. They're all uh, wire bound. Um, you know, they, they're distressed. So this one is the cream one, the first one, and then this one's the blue gray tones. And that's the second one. I like it. Um, I think it's probably more so for the fact that I like Tim Holtz products rather than because of any specific technique that um, I have picked up from the um, newest book. It's very nicely done. I, I guess the way I look at them um, is more like coffee table books. Because a lot of the techniques that are in here are things that you may have seen um, elsewhere. I have to say there's only one product that I had not seen before. And there may have been just two techniques that I had not either seen or tried before myself. So, But that being said, I'm glad I got it. Um, I was hoping to see my name. But, you know, that's just being vain and silly. But, you know, this is a nice addition. So... That's kind of cute, and I'm sorry about the dogs. It's It's been a really long day, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview. So for those of you who were interested in purchasing it, um, to have your to have it autographed, the autographs, I believe, now just say, you know, keep cure. What does it say? I just forgot it. Stay curious. <laughs> Rather than your name, where is the first one? And I'm sure that is really done because the volume that they, ha you know, he has to process, um, it, it's a it's nicely done book. Uh, I am not knocking it at all for you know it's it's attractive. It has very you know very nicely done photographs 
For those of you who might be new to crafting, this will be a really nice uh, addition to your um, repertoire for the cost that it is and the quality that in the quality in which it's produced. It's on par for the cost of some magazines. You know, crafting magazines can be ex you know extremely expensive. So, and this is a hard bound wire bound book so I think that's well worth it so there you go there's my personal opinion of the comparison of the compendium compendium I don't know why I have such a hard time with this one word compendium of curiosities volume 2 versus the original um, so if you have any questions for me please leave me a comment um, I don't know if his blog or site has uh, picture by picture might have a small sample. Um, this is not available electronically as of yet. I don't know if that's something that may be available in the future, which I think would be nice because I'm all about kind of my electronic um, shortcuts. So if this was available for the Kindle, I think I would totally repurchase it just to have it on my Kindle. So there you go. There's my personal opinion of this particular book. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.